going on, guys? Adenian Blood Sindel. We all want her. And it's because of her amazing gameplay. Okay, okay, I know why you want Adenia Blood Sindel. And we're gonna show how it's possible to unlock her for free. I know I've done a lot of videos like this in the past, but I wanna catch up and go over quest mode once more. The rewards are the exact same as they always were. The process is still the same. In this video, I did quest 112, which is the most consistent quest to drop a new gold card. But keep in mind, it can be obtained from a variety of quests. Just look at the comment section of this video. I'm sure people are going to say what quest that they did to get a gold character. It's just less likely from those quests uh, if you're going to be spamming it manually. Why would you want to do this? It honestly depends. If you get lucky in the first couple of thousand and get Adenia Blood Sindel, it could be worth it. Here's the problem. Every gold character in the entire game, except for Onslaught Fujin, is in the MK11 combat pack and classic combat pack. So doing this doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you could spend 3,000 souls and get a Denia Blood Sindel from the MK11 or classic combat pack. She is in there. But for this video, we don't care. We just want to see how long it takes me to get her from quests. Now keep in mind that I do cut this video quite a bit, right? I d I've done a lot off camera, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of quests off camera. So what you're only going to see is like maybe 50 or 60 attempts. So now it is about time to obtain a Denium Blood Sindel for free from the quest mode. 112 The Depths. Let's get started. I'm not going to leave you guys just yet. I highly recommend everyone max out Karo's Guidance and do quests that let you max out that gear because that gear will make your cost to skip cheaper but also shortens the amount of uh, quest time. I didn't use it in this video but I'm highly suggesting everyone to obtain that gear uh, to max fusion and it doesn't matter if you're doing this strategy or if you're just playing quest mode in general. You need that gear, right? It'll boost your rewards quite a bit. We're using a Circle Shadow team. And if you're wondering how we're easily able to get 100% on the depths, keep in mind we do have max diamond characters, but that's not even what's giving us 100%. What's giving us 100% is the gears. If you have a maxed epic, it doesn't matter what kind of maxed epic it is, it automatically increases that chance uh, to practically 100% if you just put two maxed epics in there. So it could be faction wars, it could just be um, 80 tower piece. Rares will work as well, but it won't boost as much as an epic. So definitely put as many gears on as you can to get that. Ch we are not using potions because potions are useless and don't increase the chance that you're going to get a gold character. They don't. This, this is just a little fair, fair warning, fair warning that it doesn't do anything. Alrighty guys, I'll see you back when we get a Denium Blood Sindel. Now that we obtained a Denia Blood Sindel from Quest, what is the takeaway for this video? Takeaway is, um, don't do this. Use your own discretion and choose not to do this. 
This can take up to 10,000 to 20,000 souls just to get a single copy of a new gold character. You're much better off just opening up MK11 combat packs or classic combat packs because at least you're getting diamonds on the side. And also newer packs like Killer Joke, they also have random gold chances in them. So you should probably just try to get lucky with those. Just stay away from this strategy. It's not even a strategy if that's what you try to call it. Uh, it what you can call it is a waste. That's good for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And this is Kude signing out.